Hi everyone, Stick here from Maple Studio. How are you doing? And welcome to another bass review. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, so today we are checking out the Sterling Ray 34 bass by Music Man. So this is your typical Music Man Stingray bass in an affordable price point. Now, I have also reviewed the Sterling Sub Ray, which I did a video here, which was the, uh, basically the entry level Ray. That was a really good instrument at the price point. Great starting off, you got a lot for your money and you got a real taste and flavor for what the Stingray bass is all about. <laughs> This is the next big step up. It's not quite the big daddy of them all, um, but you're saving yourself quite a lot of money. This is about half the price of a USA base, but you are getting really good build quality, great setup, and just everything about it is really excellent, I think. So how have they done that, you might be asking. Well, these are made in Indonesia. But, to the best of my knowledge, they are assembled, put together, tweaked or whatever, um, and set up, and the QC is over in the States, so they are shipped from America. So you're getting sort of a 50% American base with the actual manufacturing done abroad. So, we have a swamp ash body, a maple neck, a rosewood board, 21 frets, they're a good size fret, they're not the super skinny frets, but they're not massive jumbo frets. And the fret dressing itself is excellent. Uh, the neck nut is quite an interesting point on the Music Man Stingray basses because it's a 43 mil nut. So where I think your precision basses are 42 and your jazz are even smaller, um, well, first time you'll play a Stingray, you go, oh, it's a bit chunky down here. But then when you play something else with a really skinny neck, um, like the Ibanez I've got here, for example, you go, oh, that's really small. So when you get used to it, I find it really comfy. Uh, but if you've never played a Ray bass before, you're gonna go, that's a little bit chunky. We have the Open Back Music Man tuners. These work really, really well. Excellent tuning, hasn't slipped tuning once, and I kinda like the retro vibe about them, so that's cool. We have a six bolt neck joint. Now, as you guys might know, the original pre Ernie Ball Music Man basses had the three uh, three bolt uh, neck joint. Um, but one thing they sort of stress on the website and stuff is this is giving you a real snug, very good fit into the body to carry that sustain from the neck into the body. We have down here, which I'll show you. Da -da 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 -da. Let me just part the strings. Mm. We have the little um, truss rod adjuster, which is the wheel of doom. So you shove your Allen key in there, Give it a nice tweak so you don't have to take a truss rod cover off, you don't have to take a neck off, or anything like that. Very useful feature. Obviously, you shouldn't need to adjust it that much unless you're touring with one, you're going from hot to cold, hot to cold, and so on. We have the Music Man humbucker, and connected to the humbucker, we've got the three band EQ. So you've got bass, mid, and treble, volume. The nice chrome plate, the chrome work is excellent. We have the bridge, which looks like a normal Music Man bridge. Let me get that in focus down there. Um, however, as you can see on the back, it's got sterling. It's got all the adjustment that you could possibly want, and it looks really well manufactured, as you can see in there. Let me get that in focus. You've got the little hex bolts uh, for the saddle height and all that kind of thing. Obviously, it's not a string through body, so you string through the back of the bridge there. On the back, we do have the uh, battery compartment. So for you guys that don't know, an active base has to have a power supply. So these guys run on a nine volt battery and that just powers the active circuit for your EQ. It's a really well put together, excellent bass. And you also get thrown into the deal, <coughs> a gig bag, which is really useful. I'm gonna play a, a little line. It's gonna be something a little bit James Browny. I'll just go over, um, keep going over that. Try and get your tempo going as normal. And I'll just have a fiddle with the EQ, give you some boost and cut of each frequency band. Let's check out some tones. Mm-hmm. 
As usual, I'll just take you quickly through the rig I'm using for today. Uh, we're going through a DBX DB12 active DI box um, where the signal split, where I've got one, one part of the signal going into the Ashdown EB220 1x15 combo. Carney on loan to me from Ashdown Base Amps. Wicked combo, as I mentioned in the previous videos. Um, I will be doing a proper review video of this soon, so keep an eye out for that if you're interested in that. Uh, from the DBX box, it goes into, yeah. I was just checking it was a DBX box. It goes into the RME uh, Fireface 800, uh, where I'm recording at 48K into Logic Pro 9. And there's just a limiter, uh, Waves limiter, L1 limiter, over uh, the output section to sort of stop clipping. Um, but there's no effects or compression or anything like that on the bass signal. You are just hearing the bass de-eyed. There you go. I hope you found that useful. I hope you got some tones in there that you went, hmm, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, as usual, I apologize about my playing. Something I forgot to mention earlier, it's a 34 inch scale bass, just in case you are thinking he didn't mention the scale length. So yeah, it is really good value for money. Uh, if you're in the market for a Music Man Stingray and you haven't quite got your pennies together or can't quite justify the price point, definitely check these out because um, they are Really, I just can't fault it, really. It's excellent. Excellent build quality, excellent construction, excellent finish, excellent tones. Thumbs it up. This one is on loan to me from Anderson's Music Store in Guildford. Check the link below. Um, great guys there. Just let me this one for a couple of weeks to try out and do a video on for you guys. Uh, so, yeah, if you're in the market for one of these, definitely check out their website. They always have a couple in stock, I do believe. And if you're in the UK or down in the southeast, definitely go and check out their store. It is amazing. A really, really cool music store, which there aren't many of about these days. So there you go. That's the Sterling Ray 34 by Music Man. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave your comments as usual below. I really appreciate your feedback and any comments and criticism and things you'd like to see, things you don't like, blah de blah de blah It always helps. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So, um, yeah. Keep an eye out for the next one. Stick out. Bye. <laughs>